Let's talk about name days and the Swedish calendar. Name days are a tradition in some European and Latin American countries as well as Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox countries in general. In some places the name day is actually more important than the birthday because people might not know what day you were born on but they do know your name. In Sweden your birthday is generally more festive than your name day. I mean having a name day in Sweden might mean that a family member or a co-worker might like oh it's your name day congratulations and that's kind of it. Different countries have different lists of names though some notorious names of saints might occur in several different places. In this video I'm going to be focusing on Swedish name days, Namstaga. Oi! My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. From the 18th century onwards, names used by the royal family were introduced to the Swedish list of name days, followed by other common names. In 1901 there was a comprehensive modernization made to make the list up to date with current names of the time. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences held the monopoly on this list up until the year 1972. By then other competing lists started to emerge but people still stuck with the old list until 1986. That year a consensus of a list consisting of three names per day was met but only a few years later it was revised to include only two names. Now this met a lot of dissatisfaction so the Swedish Academy compiled a new list that was adopted in 2001. It does not have the same status as the old 1901 list but it's still universally used throughout Sweden. Fun fact there are seven days throughout the year that does not have a name day to it. Let's go through them. New Year's Dagen, New Year's Day does not have a name connected to it in the Swedish calendar. Then we have Schindels Messodagen on the 2nd of February, Candle Mass. This is the day when Virgin Mary brought forth the baby Jesus in the temple 40 days after the birth. The next day is 29th of February, Scott Dagen, Leap Day. This is placed at the end of February because the Roman calendar year had only 10 months and started with the month of March. This was before Julius Caesar introduced the Julian calendar 46 BC. Then we have Marie Bebeurde's dog, Feast of Annunciation, typically celebrated on the 25th of March. This commemorates that Virgin Mary finding out from Archangel Gabriel that 9 months later she would give birth to Jesus Christ the Son of God. Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Be it done to me according to thy word. You know, as all women who find out that they're pregnant say. However, in Sweden, in Svenska kyrkan, this day is celebrated on the Sunday between the 22nd and the 28th of March. The next day is Johannes Döparens dag, the nativity of John the Baptist. This is celebrated on the Sunday between June 21st and June 27th in Sweden. Then we have Allhelgonadagen, All Saints Day, which is celebrated in honor of all saints known and unknown. In Sweden it's celebrated on the Saturday between October 31st and November 6th. The commemoration of the dead is a pre-Christian tradition where people light candles to guide the dead home after the end of summer. It's not quite how people celebrate Halloween. It's slightly different. And the last of the seven days that do not have a name day is Christmas Day, Juldagen, where people celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. However, in Sweden we celebrate Christmas on the 24th. Although the new list was adopted in 2001, there have been additions to the list since. We have, for example, Saga in 2018, William in 2011, Jasmine in 2015, and more. Now some of the names on the old list are for example Rachel on June 26th, we have Bartholomeus on August 24th and we have Magnhild <laughs> on November 18th. However the 2001 list also have a number of names that are still quite unusual such as Holmfried on March 30th which only 159 people in the country have. Or we have Gudmar on June 3rd, less than 100 people. And Ørstug on September 12th, only 49 people have that name. If you're an Ørstug watching this, hello! You have a cool name and very unusual one. And my name day was actually yesterday on November 10th. I will accept your belated congrats. I'm waiting.
I hope you enjoyed this video about name days in Sweden and I will see you the next time you click on one of my videos.